18 months after hosting our city's first ever Super Bowl, city leaders announced they are going after a second. We brought you that official announcement live on HTSN and our RTV6 app that the city wants the Super Bowl back in Lucas Oil Stadium. And that's where RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer is live with more on this decision. Tanya. Well, Todd, Indianapolis was the place to be for the week and a half leading up to Super Bowl 2012. And city leaders say that they'll do it even bigger and better in 2018 if the NFL will give us a chance. We did set the standard for future Super Bowl bidders. We changed the game. We actually changed the game. And today, we informed the NFL that Indianapolis plans to nail it again for Super Bowl 52 in 2018. With our city skyline as a backdrop, city and state leaders made it official, showing a video highlighting our success in 2012. I cannot remember a city with this much energy. This thing has been such a ridiculous success beyond, I think, anybody's imagination. They've done a magnificent job in this city. Indianapolis will go down as the best Super Bowl city yet. Our Super Bowl Village featured the first ever zip line and 10 full days of action that broke NFL attendance records. Not only have I pl played in a couple Super Bowls, but I visited cities in Super Bowls. I did the zip line. I came down. I hung out downtown. I did it all with my kids. And it doesn't get better than we did it in Indianapolis. Still, city leaders admit landing Super Bowl 52 won't be easy. It's going to uh, take a mighty effort. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, we, we don't um, sell the beaches and the palm trees and the, and the ocean and those sorts of things. But what we do sell is we do it better than anyone else. Despite the cost of putting it on, state and local leaders insist the economic benefits of being in the international spotlight were priceless, creating jobs and bringing business. There are 2,100 media stories about Indianapolis as a place to visit during those 45 days leading up to and during the Super Bowl. And those stories reached an estimated 245 million people. All of that positive exposure worked. Uh, Visit, interest, Visit Indy would tell you that convention interest is way up. So the Super Bowl continues to have a tremendous impact on our city. The MFAO concert was extremely packed, much more so than they expected, and that had public safety officials really worried for a while. But those in support of bringing another Super Bowl here say that they've learned from those mistakes and they can improve on things like that if given the chance by the NFL. Reporting live outside Lucas Oil Stadium, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. All right, looking forward to this, Tanya. Thank you very much. Now, here is the timeline for what happens next. Today is the deadline for cities to announce their desire to host the game. The NFL will cut to a short list of cities in October, inviting them to submit a bid. If Indianapolis makes that list, the written bid must be submitted in April of next year and then must present to the NFL owners in May. The game is set for February of 2018.